folks welcome back to another video today we're looking at question 422 valid word square the way that we approach this problem is we're basically constructing <clears throat> the word from the columns and then comparing them it's relatively easy conceptually um just typing it out coding it might be a little complicated so let's get started um so basically we need to know the number of rows and number of columns right so the number of rows would basically be uh the words that are given to us in the uh in the list so that'd be a word start size and the number of columns um it can depend right since the number of columns um we don't necessarily get that from like the first word because it can have uh, like a shorter word like this uh, where was that example yeah something like this so we, we would have to iterate through all of the the words that are given to us and take the highest uh, um, length as a column as a number of columns that we have to iterate so let's just initialize that to be zero in the beginning so for string word in words columns would be equal to the maximum of what it's seen so far and what we have right now so this will give us um what's the maximum length of a, of a given word um and next up we need to construct the word by looking at the columns right so we need to get uh, so a b c d and then we need to construct this word right here uh you, going through the columns so how do we do that um so we first need to um catch hold oh sorry no this i think this is given to us and we need to construct this uh yeah based on columns yeah so uh let's go through the columns first in j equals zero j less than the number of columns and you increment j once you have that, let's initialize the string builder. And this is where we'll be constructing the word. So new string builder. Um, and then we iterate through the rows, right? So for int um, i equals 0, i less than the number of rows, um, i plus plus. So basically, we need to add uh, the character... Um, j for this given word so let's say string current is equal to words dot get i so if current dot length only if it is greater than j so basically it means that the column that we're looking at whether it has a letter or not so only if it's possible um we would do sb dot append uh, current dot character at j um, yeah so I think that will add the character that's given to us and once we have constructed the, the word uh, we basically need to check if they are the same so if sb dot equal so that's how you con um, compare strings words dot get j uh, if this is not equal you would return false if not in the very end after it's constructed all the words from all of the columns and it still hasn't returned false that means they are the same and you would return true uh, so let's try compiling this Ooh, let's check where we went wrong um, okay so intros is equal to words dot size that looks good number of columns equals you initially set that to zero and then you 
it read through all of the words you'd set max to be colon and word dot length yeah that looks good so you iterate through all of the columns first you create a string builder for int i equals zero uh i less than minimal pros increment i string builder so the current string is basically words on get i you get the word on the given row only if the length is greater than j you would append the character current that character at j yeah i think that looks good yeah and once the for loop is done if i think that's fine Uh, let's print this out here. System that out dot print. Oh, wait. I think I need to convert this to string. Maybe that way. Dot to string. So basically, here it's comparing a string builder to a string. Maybe that's a problem. Let's try compiling this again. Okay. So yeah, that was a problem. Um. Okay, so let's try submitting this. Okay, that works. Awesome. Um, okay, let's talk about the space and time complexity. The time complexity of the entire solution is O of n, since we have to iterate through uh, the number of rows and the columns. Uh, so that's the reason why it's n into m. The space complexity is O of 1, since we're using only um, constant space at a given point of time. Um, awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'd really appreciate that. Keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you folks soon. Peace.